Right. So this is a story. It's about a guy called Lear. Lear and his wife Eve. And they were the happiest couple in Ireland. Everyone go, oh. Oh. You're so happy. Everyone smile like you're happy. Oh. Even if you want to go back and do your homework. Oh. Right. And they lived in County Westmead. And soon after they were married, they had four beautiful children. Oh, oh you're really getting into it. Oh, guys, shucks. Come on. They had a daughter called Fanula. Who went there? Who went there? <laughs> Girls. Right. They had a daughter called Fanula and they had three sons. E, Fikra and Khan. Yeah? yeah? You're really getting into it. Right. So the children were best friends, yes? And they, I mean, they, they, were, they were really happy, happy together. But there was a bit of a sad story in this. You see, when they were young, this is, I'm actually, this is serious now. When they were young, their mother died. So Lear, Lear himself, he was heartbroken. He was heartbroken. So what do you think he did? His soulmate Eve was gone, and he could see how sad his children had become. So what do you think he did? He married again. He married again. He found a new love for his life. Everyone go, oh. oh. I bet there's a few of you going, oh. Yeah. <laughs> love. Oh, who wants love? All right. He did. He married again. He married a beautiful woman called Aoife. Will I try to draw Aoife? Yeah. All right. Now, I'm going to do this very quickly here, so, you know, don't be, don't be too much of an art critic on me today, please. All right, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll, start with, we'll start with a little nose. No, that's a nose. Don't worry. It'll turn into a nose. It'll make sense in a minute. It'll make sense in a minute. We'll go on to a little mouth. See? No, no, don't worry. It'll make sense in a minute. All right. We'll give her kind of little eyes like this. All right. Now, she mean they look like something now. All right. And we'll give her, we'll give, I actually maybe made her mouth a bit too big. We'll give her thing here, we'll give her here, we'll give her here. And she's got a bit of a fringe that goes down like this. And she's got hair that comes down like this. And she's got hair that comes down like this. Who wants that hairstyle? Oh yeah, his hand went up. Who wants that hairstyle? You serious? I'd like to have that hair too. Well, I would if I could. Okay. So she's like this. So Aoife was actually quite nice. She was nice and she played with the kids and she, they, they used to, she used to tell them stories and, and sang songs to help them sleep. And the children loved that Aoife was, was willing to play with them. She loved it. Oh. But what do we know about Aoife? Some of you might know this story. Was she as nice as we think? No. No, she wasn't. You see, she was jealous. She was jealous. She didn't like the fact that Lear loved his children more than her. No. Oh, jealousy. Jealousy is a terrible thing. It's terrible. No, believe me, it's terrible. It's not a nice, it's not a nice thing at all. It's not a nice trait. So you know what she did? Well, One day Lear was out, and you know what she did? She went... She went, oh, will you come down to... <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall. Don't fall. Oh, good Lord. And she said, will you come down to the, to the lake? So she brought the children all down to the lake and sit down again. Sit carefully. Sit carefully. Oh God, we'll be calling the insurance. Right, don't worry, don't worry. Everything. Right, so she took them down to the lake. She took them down to the lake and they were playing down by the lake and everything was good. And then what happened? I'll tell you what happened. She got like this. Does she look so nice now? Doesn't look nice, because as they were playing, as they were playing, she pulled out her wand and she waved it over them. And there were streaks of bright light flashed. Actually, this is where we get, and get our sound effects. Everyone go, give me, give me like a thunder crack. Oh, yeah, 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 with, with the hand gesture. Do it, like, your hands up in the air, like. Oh, that's good. So streaks of blue light came flying out of the wand and she waved it over them. And what happened? The children vanished and in their place there was... Swans. Swans. So what we'll do is we'll attempt to draw a swan here now. We'll attempt. We'll see what we're doing. All right. So swan. All right. So we'll do it. Okay. So, okay. So swan looks like this. Okay. Da -da -da. Da -da. So they turned into four beautiful swans. What? 
It's not. It's, 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 it's just one. <laughs> Look, what do you know? I'm the artist. I know what I'm doing. This is a swan. Actually, I'm going to ask our teachers, is that a swan or a rabbit? They don't know what to answer. They don't know either. It's a swan there. Okay, 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 okay. Everyone's so smart here. Woo. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, someone tell me what a swan looks like. Put your hands up. Who would tell me a swan? You, this boy here. Yes, you. Oh, with a, with a neck. What color is it? White. White. Orange. And what about the big ears it's got? <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I remember. Yeah, they're kind of like, uh, goes like this, goes like this. And then we do this bit, and then we do this bit, it comes down like this, and then it has a bit that comes up like this, and then a bit that comes down like that, and then, and then, is that kind of like a swan? Yeah. Yeah. So she turned them all into swans. There was four of them. I'm not going to draw four of them. Drawing one of them was hard enough. Right. So the swans, they flapped their wings in distress. They were distressed. This is the bit where I warn you, you better not be scared, because, you know, it's only a story. It's only a story. It's only a story. And in a frightened, in a frightened voice, Fanula, Fanula called out to her stepmother and she said, what have, you, what have you done to us? And Aoife replied, she said, I have put a spell on you. A spell on you. What are you doing? Yes. You will be swans for 900 years. For 300 years here on Lake Daravara. For 300 years on the Sea of Moyle and for 300 years on the Bay of Eris. Oh, yes. And you will only be changed back if, if you meet a holy man. <laughs> Everyone give me your most evil laugh. <laughs> 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 Whoa! Whoa. So Eva, Eva was kind of happy with herself. And what did she do? She went back to Lear. She went back to Lear. And Lear was, he was there and he came back and he was all looking forward to looking, to spending time with, it, with, his, with, his, with his children. And he came in and he said, Eva, where, where, are, the, where are the children? And Eva was like, ah, I don't know. I, 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 I let them go and play. I haven't seen them since they went out to play this morning. But when Lear heard the lie, and he knew it was a lie, he suspected that something awful had happened, so he went out to look for them. He knew how much they loved to swim, so he went down to the, to the lake. And he was afraid that they had drowned and that Aoife was too scared to tell him. But he soon discovered a terrible truth. You know what he discovered, didn't you? He walked down and he found them, the four, four children as swans. And they, they told him, they said, Father, they cried when they saw him, Eva has placed a magic spell on us and that will last for 900 years. And Lear, Lear was like, no, 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 no. And he raced back. He raced. And he came back to Eva and he said, what have you done? And Eva was like, I have done nothing. Nothing. No, you have. You've turned them into swans. You must turn back the spell right away. And what do you think she said? No. Yeah, but she didn't say, she didn't say, no. She said it in the most evil way you could, everyone. No! Do it again, do it again. No! Oh, no, no, no. I won't change it back. No. I don't know. We shouldn't be laughing at this. This is very sad. This fortune would have been turned into for 900 years. 900 years. Anyway, so what do you do? He sent out messengers or to every part of Ireland with promises of a great reward for anyone who could break the spell. And you think someone could? No. no. Yeah. Many tried, but Aoife's magic was way too powerful to be broken. So the swans had to become used to, to life on Loch Daravara. 
And at first things were not so bad because their father would come every day and he would talk to them and he would listen to them and their beautiful songs. But of course, what happened? He, he gradually, gradually he, he started off, he was like this. But then the years, as the years went, he was more like, like this. And then finally he was very old. And he was still trying to talk with them. And yes, he died. Oh. He died. And the swans were forgotten because nobody, nobody came to visit him anymore. And people just forgot about these swans. And then 300 years passed and it was time for the swans to move on again. And they were going to move on to the Sea of Moyle. Now the Sea of Moyle was a harsh, ice-cold place. And the wind was blowing there all the time. Give me a big, give me a, your best wind. Your person, like, and, and imagine, imagine you're, you're, you're having to live in a place like that. You have to move like this through against the wind. Everyone blow again. Your best sound effects. Can you imagine? Can you imagine having to live there for 300 years? Would you like to live there for 300 years? No. And they, they didn't have a home. They didn't have a house that they dwelt in. They didn't have a house. What kind of house do you have? You have a nice big house, I'd say. Do you have a nice big house? Yeah. It doesn't have a roof. It has a roof and all. Well, you're very lucky. Right. He's a, house, he's a house with a roof. Who else has a house with a roof on it? All of you. See what I mean? All of you. Except that girl. That girl here, she does not have a house with a roof on it. What kind of house are you? You live in a tent, is it? <laughs> no. So basically, so basically these, everyone else here is living in a house with a roof, but these swans didn't. They had no roof, no roof, and they had horrible cold, and sometimes they got lost. But then 300 years passed, and what, what happened then? They moved on again, and they moved on to the Bay of Eris. Now, the Bay of Eris was a, was a different kind of a place. It was nice and warm. Woo-hoo-hoo, sun, yeah, yeah, woo-hoo, get my tan on. No, no, but they're swans, they don't do that. There was lots of food, and the children of Lear were very lonely. They were very lonely, because still there was no one to talk to them. But one day, near the end of these final 300 years, something happened. And it was like this. A man appeared. And he came down and he took out his fishing rod. And he went over and there was four swans. And there was a big lake in front of him. And he was doing his fishing. And the four swans were there and they were looking at him. Oh no, it got away. And the swan said, yes, it got away. Yes, did you? And the swan looked up at him and went, what? You, you spoke. Oh yes, yes I did. And, and Makuya, he was, he, was he was basically, he was a priest, he was a holy man. He, he went back, he was like, he couldn't believe his ears and his eyes. There was a, spa, a swan speaking to him. Has anyone ever had a swan, a swan, I can't even say it right. Can anyone say a swan, well, what am I saying? I don't know what's happening in my tongue, it just broke down, hold on. Has anyone ever had a swan speak to you? No, two of them have. Ah, oh, very good. Well, Makuya was like this, he couldn't believe his ears. He was like, but who are you? How did, how did this happen? And of course, they told him the story. They told them the story. They told them about how they were turned into swans and how they'd been like that for almost 900 years now. And they became good friends, and Makuya began telling them stories too. He began telling them about um, St. Patrick. Did everyone know about St. Patrick? Yeah. You know about St. Patrick, sir? What, what can you tell me about St. Patrick? He banished the snakes. No, he did. He did every single one of them. All of them. Gone. Yes. And he told them about God. And he told them about all these things, told them all, that all the things that were happening in Ireland in the years that they'd lived here, in the years that they were away. And then he said, he said, well, you know, I'm going to bless you. So he put his hand on each of the swan's heads and he blessed them. He said, give them all a blessing. And the swans looked up and they were like, and they were kind of happy again because they had someone to talk to and they felt happy and they were like this. And suddenly, uh, 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 the swan, the neck, Got a little, a little bit shorter. 
and the head got a bit bigger and it began to look more like a human head and, and then the wings, the wings went out and they turned into arms with fingers another arm with finger. oh and oh I have a foot I, oh I have a foot oh. and they looked around and all of them appeared but the only thing was about it they were old 900 years how old do you think that is? that's pretty old that's pretty old Nine hundred years, they woke up. They were happy. They had a friend again. They had each other again. Everyone go, oh, oh. They had each other again. But yes, they were after getting very, very old. So old that when the bells began to ring, everyone give me your best bell sound. Ding dong. Oh no, no, no. We have to do this in unison. Ding dong. Ding dong. Ding dong. The witch is dead. No, the ding. Right. The bells rang and each of them passed away slowly. And that night, Makuya, he, he buried them and he went to his home and he taught her their story and he was very sad, but he went and he wondered and he slept and he dreamed. And as he dreamed, in his dream he saw the sky and across the moon he saw a swan fly another swan fly, another swan, and another swan. And they flew away. Do you think they're happy now? I think they might be happy because they went away together. Do you think so? Yeah. yeah. Did you like that story? Yeah. Good. Good.